In the previous episode, we continued to defend Tyal, capturing many Kazate nobles. The AI sieged down Galand and Valandia was eliminated. We went to peace with Kazate and earned 27 million dinars per day. We drained the influence again and went to war with Kazate, took many of their fiefs into the Asrai kingdom. Our allies refused to siege down a zero defender fief and chase small parties instead. We spent weeks and weeks capturing small parties to help the AI focus on sieging, reached Medicine Perk 175, Kazate was eliminated, and now only the Asurai are left. And we kicked all the Asurai clans out, took all the fiefs except for a single one owned by the king. So they're mostly foot troops. They looks like a lot of their composition has um, throwing weapons. They have a decent amount of foot archers, only a handful of cav and cav archers. So let's we'll go javelins first and try and deal with them. Stay behind cover so we're not getting picked apart. Man, I got so used to the, the bow and arrow, I'm missing everything with javelins now. I can't get too close to these foot troops because there's a lot. The horse archers are going to be pretty obnoxious. Don't really want to go into them with the javelins though. I feel like the, the archery is going to be the better, the better call there. So again, let's just drive the cab out. Deal with them first. I had to have my shield out, but somehow it didn't work. There we go. And there's one more cav. There we go. Nice shots left. I would probably just wing him. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, let's just wing him into the, the horse archers. You never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. These guys are all over me. Alright. We'll use that to back out. Let's get cavern down. We got just a handful of horse archers. We can definitely deal with them. Now, I would prefer to fight them not on a, a narrow strip. If they're on the narrow strip, they're just going to stop and shoot. I don't want them to shoot like that. I'd rather them get all the way over here and then shoot. Uh, what are they doing, man? They're doing some terrible math. Yeah, they're, they're stuck on that side now. Good old Tail Worlds. Well, at least it looks like there's one guy over here. We can take him out so pretty easily and safely. Now, the, the foot troops, let's just try and stay with like a little hill to, for coverage. Oh, there's another horse archer. Don't think I can do much there. If I stop right now, we're, I think we'll just get pelted. Yeah, look at how many arrows that is. So we'll just get away as far away as we can. This should give us some time. Whoa, that's a lot. We just got hit three times in a row, back to back. But we'll wing some shots into them, see if we can get a few lucky shots, because it's they kind of have a critical mass. Just got to pick them off while we're not picking too many shots back. There we go. All right, we're getting in some good shots. Get the guy on foot. Jeez, man, they hit so hard. And there's only 20 something of them. 23 of them. Yeah, they're just, they're doing so much damage. They're going to do more damage than 300 troops. The 300 foot troops they have. Almost guarantee it. All right, there's another one down. We gotta back out. Foot troops are kind of on us at this point. We don't want to, don't want to leave with the invisible wall. Hopefully, we can get to the edge in time. There we go. All right, so we got a little bit of space, not really much, but link some shots into them. Yeah, those are the ones that feel the best. That doesn't feel so good. They're down to eight. One good thing is they only have one set of arrows from Quiver. So it is fairly easy to deal with them once uh, you, you dodge most of the arrows. 
They're just gonna run straight at us. Eighty-nine foot archers, it's quite a lot. Pick up a few stray arrows. Few more. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hitting them in the back when they're retreating is probably the best way to do it. They do have a shield, so. I think this is the last guy right here. Yep, that's it. So that should have been all the, the horse. You don't see any other ones. Now we still want to use this because there's quite a bit of value we can get out of it. I think we take out the, the the archers that they have with ranged, and I think we take out the foot troops. Well, the, a lot of them are going to have javelins and stuff, but... Alright, here comes the throwing weapons. Unfortunately, they do have a lot of throwing weapons, and they have the long shields. It's going to be pretty hard to get in there on them. Let's just wing some shots over the top. Just limit their numbers as best we can. Yeah, we're already close to half health, which is not good. I think we need to save a bit more HP than that. And then once this is done, we still have to fight the army. They're going to be attacking us. We still have to fight the militia for the siege itself. So there's still a lot to get done here. We can get some cover here behind this little hill. Yeah, this isn't going to work. We need to get killing shots. There's no way I can pick out who I hit already and hit him a second time. So it's basically a wasted arrow. Man, we're getting hit a lot. It's They're really far and they're... Mostly, I think, low-tier archers, so I don't know how they're hitting so frequently, but so it is what it is. Still got 14 shots left. I don't know if it's even worth it, though. We'd have to go through their whole line. It's fine. We'll go with 10 short. And for the last one, for sure, it's going to be the, the two-hander, the pole arm. I'm tempted to put the two-handed axe just in case. I don't know if we'll ever even be able to use it, but I think this is probably the build to go with. So we need to get them out into an open area, preferably something like this, where it's sloped on all four sides, because that would give the little depression that we'll be riding around should give us some cover. So we can do the circle right here on this, this little flat top area. Biggest issue, they all pretty much have throwing weapons, so this is not going to be easy. We'll start moving. Take out the crossbowmen first. Let's just take a few laps and just see kind of how easily they're able to hit. I'd love to take out the crossbowmen too, though. They're kind of scary. Another one. guy's gonna hit they just have that look on them like they're not gonna they can't miss that was an axeman yeah this is gonna take a while <laughs> get your popcorn and and your snuggie on right, looks like they're giving us some opportunities though and they don't seem to be attacking too much except for that guy guy's going so far out, but it's making me nervous. Here we go. I think maybe we're we're going a little too fast for them to get their aiming to catch up. There are a, a few spots where I can hear people getting shots off. 
But so far, it seems like this is a good flat top. Relatively safe. Let's slow it down a little bit. Oh boy. Now, I'm going to switch. Let's try the polearm because I am missing a decent amount of shots here. Just because of the distance. So it is quite a bit easier. It's a lot slower though to get the shield back. I just gotta turn my aim hard, hard left, like as far left as I can get it, so that the thing actually goes. I think that's why I was missing a lot before, is I was kind of aiming visually as opposed to mechanically. I know the, the game likes it when you aim that far left. We just need to get rid of most of the range units. They're gonna be blocking a lot of what, what we attack them with. But the range units, not so much, because they have their, you know, they've got their bow and arrow out. There's a Fian champion. That's what I was hoping to get. That guy was scaring me a bit. That guy looked like he was going to nail us. Still want to keep the shield out. Yeah, so the, the backside of that looked kind of scary. This, this is... I'm going to break this up actually with some bowling them over. They're too far separated. And there's a little bit of a straightaway that I have to go on, which means they have time to kind of like load up their shots. So I don't like the setup there. I'm going to try and pick them off a little bit. All right, there we go. This is actually working out really well. Ooh, that was a bad play on my part. Yeah, look at how many people shot. It's just... It's a high risk, low reward. I have to hold on this one. Yeah, this there seems to be a pretty big concentration of people there. I'm curious if maybe a two-handed axe would be good there. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, we slowed down a lot on that. Making good progress, though. Haven't taken much damage yet. Just a lot on the shield, but kind of expected. Yep, there we go. Yeah, see, this is the part where it gets a little sketchy. There's some straightaways that I think maybe to make that tight of a turn, I might have to slow down, but slowing down means that they have more time to aim and we're more likely to get hit. Let's hit them on the backside when they don't have time to aim. Let's bulldoze these guys. There we go. Bulldoze them again. Oh, that's really bad. We only hit two. So I think that let's break it up by going a little farther wide and then cutting in, pick some people off on the back side. And then we'll slow down here, curl, start to curl in a little bit. All right, two kills on that one. That's pretty good. So we're going to go fast. It's almost like uh, orbiting a planet in an elliptical. Yeah, I think circular orbits probably not the way to go for this one. We'll orbit like a, like a normal planet. Yeah, we can cut back in here. I wish I had time to look and see how many people are, how many archers are left. Alright, we can get some shots there. I see some archers that are not, so there's like some infantry mixed in with some archers. Oh man, that was bad. That was really bad. That was a, th a throwing axe. They, st they still have plenty of throwing axes. I think I'm just moving too fast for them to get aim. Yeah, that guy right there. He did it again. That was the same spot. So for whatever reason, he's got time to aim before we get around to it. Let's throw his aim off. I'm going to juke to the right every time I go by him now. Just a, just a little tap. I really got to keep working on these archers. Alright, that's not the last of them, but that's the last one that I can easily see. There's some kind of mixed in here with the, the edge like that. Let's hold for a little while to be stabilized. There we go. All right, they're still getting shots off. I don't know how that last guy had an angle. That was really weird. I was in a depression and he threw it like right when we came up. 
it seems they're able to aim through walls or whatever the, the map to some degree. A little bit of the ESP, you know, the typical AI where they can track you through walls and stuff. Seems to be what's going on here. I think if we just hold tight, just hold real tight to this. They don't seem to they don't seem to be able to get much of a chance. Alright, there's the sword sister. Yeah, there's still a few archers that I would like to pick off. Oh, here we go. Yeah, right there. That's gonna be the, the one that gets gets a, a thing off for this little gap right here. Right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wide, let's go elliptical. We'll go fast, and then we'll cut back in, try and hug tight. Alright, that actually separated the archers out a little bit. It's not what I was trying to do, but that works out. Okay, these guys with the big javelins, I'm a little bit concerned with. Let's knock that guy back into the circle a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, don't... Oh, man, I had my shield up, too. How did he hit me? It says in the chest, too. How did he hit me in the chest with my shield up? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Is gonna get a shot off too. Yeah, this gap right here is the one that concerns me the most. So let's go a little wider, faster. Maybe they won't have time to aim. Let's see. Let's take a couple laps and make sure that it's sustainable. And then we can just adjust our orbit to come in close for that specific part. So we're gonna cut in, slow down and cut in right here. Yeah, there we go. And we'll s slow down, speed up, slow down. Nope, that was bad. It's like massaging a circle into an oval. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, in my head, that's how I visualize it anyways. I don't know if that makes sense. It's so sketchy because almost every one of these guys has something to projectile to throw at us. Yeah, look at it. All these guys. They all just want to get in on it. Start picking up the steam here. Man, they're throwing a lot of weapons. They're missing, but they're throwing a lot, which is not good. It's like, it's just a matter of time. It's just statistics before you start getting hit. But there we go, we cut that one. So now, yeah, they're really throwing. Need to do something a little more drastic here. You know, I'm actually going to back out. I would like them to get back up on top of the hill. They're kind of going off to the side, and I think what's happening is there's people in the top of the hill that are able to see, even though they're on, like, the back side of the circle. If they're on the apex of the ridge, then it should be easier to keep them from getting shots off. All right, let's circle back in. I think they're mostly... Yeah, it looks like they mostly are. Let's circle in. Not going to get... Not going to try and hit anybody. We just want to circle in. Run somebody over, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, this is this is much more manageable, I think. Run this guy over. Yeah, I was gonna say I was just gonna say we're gonna get hit here if we let our guard down. So shield's almost busted, which is a problem. Man, they're hitting the hard, horse pretty hard too. Let's, let's back out a little bit. Another thing we could do is just burn all their ammunition. They only have six archers left. Okay, so we just need to get rid of their throwing weapons. I can see them going back to reload those guys in the back. That's what they're doing. We need to kill the archers, and then we need to burn the rest of the throwing weapons. They're only going to have... I think the only, the only units they have are single stacks. So if we could deal with them, we can burn their, their throwing weapons pretty easily. Oh, I missed. Right, we got to come back. Oh, crap. They hit the shield, so we have no shield left. Well, it doesn't really do us any good to use the... I guess we could use two-handed. So either the axe or the falks. I'm, I'm already kind of used to the falks, so let's just use the falks. Just because of comfortability. 
We gotta we gotta get these archers. There's one. And then we'll back out. And again, at the same time, we're burning throwing weapons, which is good. Really need to burn throwing weapons. They don't they shouldn't have a lot left. Alright, here we go. I see two of them. This guy's gonna get his shot off. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Patience here. It's almost 20 minutes in. Just gonna be one of those battles. Alright, we gotta slow it down here. Oh, I tried to get them both. I almost got them both. Yeah, we're fairly safe at distance. One more, get one more shot off and we're gonna peel it. No, that's too straight. Yeah, it's too straight on. All right, let's actually get further away. Let's draw them away from where they were shooting at. I don't want them, I don't want to have to try and circle where their throwing weapons were so they keep picking them up. But let's, again, let's deal with the archers. I see one way out here off into the distance by himself. So I'm gonna circle. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, hit that. He's low tier as well. He's low tier and he nailed me. All right, they're gonna get those throwing weapons off. No big deal. You know, we might actually be able to just switch into this now. The polearm. They do still have some people that can throw and shoot, but they're they're gonna be stuck in the back. And I think maybe we'll be able to see him. Let's pull him over this way. No, there's the archers back there. I can see him taking shots. So we do need to deal with them. I can't believe I missed both of those guys. I mean, I ran them over, but it's not what I was trying to do. Still got throwing. Oh, I turned right back into that. Right, we really needed to deal with these archers because they're they're getting on my nerves. Right, hit them from a little bit more distance, maybe. Two archers left, but one of them's a crossbow. She's not going to be able to reload. So this guy's holding his aim for a really long time. All right, this guy's going to reload his throwing axe. No big deal. Now we just need to get away, away from all the throwing weapons that are stuck in the floor and hopefully they don't keep picking stuff up. Like that guy in the back, he's going back to pick something up. No big deal. We'll pull him away. Look at, he's going to pick stuff up. Actually, you know what? You want to throw so badly? What if we go stab you in the face? Alright, there's one down. Here we go. Now we're going to do the death ball. We need to keep a good pace. How many people left? 170? So, did a pretty good job here, actually. There are a lot of dead people in here. Oh, crap. I just saw that. Just one more. He's, th he's getting ready to throw. Let's let him get it out of his system here. So, I'm, I'm trying to watch people on the outside, too. Just to make sure they're not... They're not going to start throwing at us. Seems fairly safe. I think we just start stabbing. I do have to focus on the front, though, because if they catch us, it, any of those two-handed axes, even a bad hit, would kill, because they do so much damage. The polearm, not so much, but we don't want to take any hits if we don't have to, obviously. This is the scary part right here, all these two-handed axes. Shouldn't be two-handed axe. Man, they should be called two-handed axe murderers. Right, so far, so good. They're starting to catch a little bit on some parts. Yeah, they're getting close. I don't know why they're... Some of them are really fast. Some of them aren't that fast. Like, they just... They're in the ball, and then they sprint. And then they're in the ball, and then they sprint. I don't even want to talk. I'm just trying to focus and not die here at the end. I'm really happy there's no trees or fake rock walls to run into on this one. Or at least none that I've... <laughs> none that we've run into yet. Oh, somebody's running. I see somebody running. Yep, there they go. There's more running. <laughs> After all that death, some people are finally starting to see the, uh, the logic. I'm not going to stop and chase people. If they want to go, they can go. They have mostly high tier units, so yeah, maybe we should kill these guys. I guess the problem is they're garrison, so I think they actually go back into the pool if they flee. Which is not ideal. Luckily, it's the low tier that are doing it, so not as big of a deal. 
Oh, there's another one. Not gonna get to him in time. Oh, one of the X-Men, actually. And let's actually get him away, so we have a little bit more room. 17 people left. It's a little late to run. You kind of just have to accept your fate at this point. Maybe if they all ran when there's 300 and something people, they get all split in different directions, and you like you can't exactly chase everybody down. All right, let's actually go two-handed. Still terrified of this guy. There we go. All right. That was a hairy one, <laughs> to say the least. We got a few skills from it too. I think our pole arm's capped. 288, I think, is the max. Yeah, they do actually come back. There's only four people left. Mamluk soldier and recruits. The Mamluk soldier, I think. Do they have pole? I don't think they have any throwing weapons. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We'll just stab them real quick. Okay, I can. Breathe a little bit easier now. Ooh, there's actually an upgrade for our shoulder blades. Our shoulder pads. Legendary decorated long sleeve bronze scale pauldrons. So it's a matter of one body and one arm. Not a big difference, but you know, why not? It, it looks a little better too. Kind of curious about these, these axes. So we'll continue the siege. 813 militia. If we can get the siege off. That's, that's a big if. So these are shorter. 15 to 116. This one's about the same, actually. 123 to 114. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're all that great. I was gonna say we could we could keep them to smelt so we can do some crafting, but by the time we get done with this, there's no there's gonna be nobody to use it on. So let's go back to our bow and arrow. Now I fully expect to get attacked by a lot of people. A bunch of clans are starting to die off now. They don't seem to want to help. We've got all the health back too. We're back to full. That's good. And we are making the siege camp. Oh, they are sieging something down. Medini. That's interesting. Stop there, stranger. All right, we did get attacked. She's only got 90. A couple cav and horse archers. Not not a lot. Yeah. We can take the horse out, I think. They only have a couple. Ooh, they had a cons guard. Let's get out of your infantry coming. They have oh they have only one one archer. Let's just make sure we take this guy out. Don't have to re-engage him on the next one. If there is a next one. Man. They are really accurate for only being three of them. Another one down. Leading him too much. There goes the noble. I'm just gonna take this guy's horse out, man. I can't hit him for some for some weird reason. There we go. That was really bizarre. There goes the last cab, I believe. Yeah, I think that's it. They do have one archer, so I would like to go grab the ammunition from him. I got a little bit from it, but I didn't get the full thing. Let's get some shots off in these guys trying to get javelins in on us. Where did that quiver go? Oh, here it is. There we go. So we've got 97 shots for 58 people. May not be that easy because they have a lot of the, the big shields. Let's actually just circle around a few times and get the either no shields or the circular ones. Pick them off first. And if we still need help, we can just go get our, our pole arm. There's a few more circular shields in there, but they're kind of stuck in the middle. All right, let's see if we can do anything from foot. Oop. I say, worst case, we can just run away. We're faster than everybody by quite a bit. Maybe we do it on a hill? Oh, 
Right, the aim point is really bizarre when you're up close in third person. So this might be easier to do in first person, actually. Or maybe not. Yeah, there it goes. You know what's not a better spot to do it is the, the bridge here. I feel like not only is it unobstructed, but we can we have a really nice slope here. So we just need to go back and forth. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, this is the spot to do it right here. And then we just need to run around. Wow, only a single one. It's weird, it's not even hitting the guy in the front, it's hitting the ones in the back. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There we go. Alright, this is just taking too long. Let's let's go use the pole arm. Hopefully they don't have the throwing weapons again. I don't think they had too many to begin with though, so. Oh nope, there are definitely some. But they're not letting me get too many stabs in, so let's actually go two-handed. Seems like the way to do it reliably and safely is to let them get an attack and turn and hit him before that attack is done. So they don't have time to come back and, and defend. I mean, you could just punch through them eventually. The problem with that is they do sometimes get an attack through, so... didn't hardly lose any HP on that. Got some good XP. Yeah, we do need a little bit of food. I'm a little concerned about that castle. If we lose a castle, that means all this work was kind of for nothing. We have to go back and redo it. Halt there. So, tell me who I now, right as I finished the siege camp, there's a bunch of starving people and a group of 15 showed up. One cab, one horse archer. Let's just shoot them. I don't really see a need to take much risk since we have to take on 800 militia right now. We're going to need all the HP we can get, I think. I think Maybe not, but I think. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what these guys are thinking. Alright, they're running. They, they didn't get anything off. No attacks. I think they shot at me twice and missed. So, take him prisoner. And now the final part. So we can continue the siege, we can lead the assault. There's 370 ranged. I think I think we go one set of bow and arrows and the falks. I, I think that's probably the call with the shield. We need to use the shield to get in, possibly. They, they may not let us in easily, so probably try that. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, let's see, what is this? Attempt number five. The game is crashing on me all the time. I turned off mods, tried it, it still crashed. It doesn't seem to matter. So what I'm going to do, and I know this is kind of breaking the rules that I was setting before, but there's not really any way I can get around this, because I'm not even exaggerating. This is the fifth or sixth time I've, I've done this battle. And each time I get about 20 to 30 minutes in and it crashes. So I've spent hours, literal hours on this last part. So pretty annoying. Um, been going in with the Falks shield and a set of arrows. So what I'm thinking about doing is let's just go in, kill maybe two to three hundred, back out, save the game. That way I'm not having to redo the entire battle each time. And then maybe, maybe it'll be enough at some point to, you know, it'll take us maybe not enough time to finish off the last couple of people. There's people right here, we can just blast them with this, the bombs. Uh, 
can't move. There's like a, a slideshow, but it does it always, and then it'll it'll stop. I think there's something going on with the AI and the siege. Maybe it's because we only have one unit and they can't figure out what to do. Like they're just getting a bunch of commands over and over. I don't really know. But I do know it's really annoying and a huge waste of my time. So let's just wait for this to be over. We'll start fighting them. Yeah, look at that. They're like causing a huge traffic jam. All right, there we go. So they figured out what they wanted to do, actually. And there's a huge amount of archers down here. I'm going to try and get a bomb down there. Oh, it does actually reach, so we can use that. There's a good amount here, too, but this one's probably a little easier to get to. And it's a lot. It's a lot of people. And yeah, not too bad. I wish we could get it a little further in. There we go. Maybe that. Yeah, perfect. That's huge. That's a lot of people. They're still packed in pretty tightly. So we can get another couple. <laughs> 105. That's so many people. And they still have a lot of people there. Might make sense to push some of these guys out too. They don't seem to take as much damage. I'm wondering if it... No, never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if it has to do with how much momentum it picks up. Because it's being thrown off a, a ledge, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, this is destroying them. Let's let a few more people filter in. <laughs> Alright, well, they want to play ball. Nope, they don't. That's 229. We'll at least use up a set of arrows and then we'll back out, make a save file, and hopefully we can then finish the siege and finish the campaign because this one is long overdue. They're still not reacting. Sometimes they charge from here, sometimes they don't. So I think. I know we could reload arrows and all that from here, but again, I really don't want to deal with crashing. So I'm going to just back out and save it again. Now, they do have less people. Yeah, this time we didn't get the good ones. You can still... <laughs> you can still hit people with these, but it's not as damaging. <laughs> it's so funny when they fall over from that. people moving. I'm not sure why they jam this side up. Maybe it's because we put the ladder up on this side. That could potentially be... I mean, they they push the, both ladders off, so it's not like it's there anymore, but they still act like it is. Let's focus on the archers first. I'm not really sure what they're doing. They're attacking and then not attacking. All right, there you go. So archers are getting, they're getting called back somewhere else. Yeah, there's no way they're getting up that ladder or that uh, staircase. All right, here they come. All right, we got to jump. We'll take a little bit of, a little bit of fall damage. This is what they usually do. They just, they rush back and forth. Once you come down here, they turn around. They don't really come after you anymore. Sometimes what I would do is I would go up in that tower, that tower up there, and then they would surround you, and then you'd have to fight them off. And then they'd run after a few minutes. I, it's really bizarre. You know how the terrible AI is. They just kind of do random stuff at random times. Not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to what they're doing. So then what I discovered in a later round is I went up here to the front gate 
There's going to be a huge amount of archers here. Just got to survive that part. Wait for these guys to get off the, the stairs. And then we're going to go up there. All right, no more ammo. Now we got to block all these arrows. And then we got to block arrows from this side. All right, we should be good here. Oh, man. This usually has a catapult. This time it does not, unfortunately. And it doesn't go all the way over, so we can't use it. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Just take everybody out manually. Now, one thing... I mean, it's pretty obvious this battle is not that difficult, so... Save, you know, going back out and coming back in doesn't really benefit us. It just slows the game down, but like I said... For the purposes of actually finishing the siege, it may be necessary. Seems like the game gets to a certain point and it just gives up. Crashes. They are down to 400. It's about half. Let's, let's take out a few more. And then I'll feel okay about backing out and doing it again. The game's weirding out again. The heck? My cursor showed up on my screen some, for some reason. Yeah, Bannerlord is really struggling for this uh, this siege. I did crash a decent amount on this campaign, but usually it was like one-offs. This one is very repeatable. Not in the exact same location, but it's definitely crashing a lot, so I, I wouldn't be shocked if it crashed right now. Still a handful of them left down here. Let's take them out. Look how stupid this is. They're not even aiming. So that's it for there. They're probably gonna split. Nope, maybe not. Nice. Well, we can just shoot arrows into this darkness and then hit stuff. 300 left. You know, I'm, let's not jinx it. I'm just gonna back out and save it again. And then we'll go back in. They've only got a handful of archers left. Damn these archers, if we can take some out. Perfect timing, man. That's incredible how they do that. Like, they hold it, and the instant I let go of my my shield to do an attack, they let it go. And these are, these are militia, by the way. These aren't, like, high-tier units. These are just crappy militia. Alright, I am over it. I'm just gonna go shoot him. Can't get an angle. All the archers there. I think there's yeah, there's a few more over here. And they have a few shielded troops. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with these guys too much. Alright, they <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. As soon as we got in range, they decided to all run up the stairs like they're trying to escape from me, but it doesn't really make sense. That guy went flying. Let's go back to the tower. Right, they don't seem to be defending themselves here, so we'll just keep going. Perfect timing again, dude. That was so perfect. They held he held it 
So it wasn't like he just timed it on accident. Held the attack. Waited specifically for me to not have my, uh, yeah, my guard up and then he just let it rip. I can't let that guy out. I wonder if we can bait some people down here to mess with the doors. So if you open the gates, I'd probably send some people down. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, we got some more archers coming down. Oh man, we're just cutting, tearing through this guy. There you go, here's four more. So they're going to keep reinforcing the archers until they have none left, and then they'll be all dead. Uh-oh. Some people that actually defend themselves are here now. Yeah, probably for the gate. And we can just open it again. They're all gonna keep trying to close the gate and we'll just keep shooting them. That's the last of the archers, I think. Don't know where this guy's going. I don't think he's retreating, but let's just make sure he's not for sure retreating. If we come up here, we'll have access to more arrows. And we've got a an onager. I actually I don't know if this thing will reach. No, it's not gonna reach. If they were on that little courtyard like they were before, that would work, but where they're at right now, it definitely will not work. 198 left. This is where it starts to crash, I think. So hopefully that's not the case. But they're all in a weird spot. Let's go up on the walls and see if we can find some ammunition to throw at them. Like there's one right here. It has red. Beautiful. I don't want to waste it on one guy. You <laughs> can see if he was just stuck and not going to react, but uh, we'll take him out in a sec. Oh, yeah, here we go. They grouped up for that one. <laughs> right, they're all yelling, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming they're coming after us, but not really. There we go. Let's get, group up again. <laughs> People went flying. They're actually coming after us now. Maybe, maybe not. No, they're moving to the. They're moving to a position. Hundred and eighteen left. We're almost there. Just gotta try and not crash. They can do it again. Oh yes, they are. Yes, they are. Eighty six left. Let him go by. It right, looks like they're just going to stand there, so we'll, we'll just throw it. There we go. All right, they are a couple of people fleeing. Can't have that. That's pretty much it from that spot. We're going to have some people reinforcing. Let's see if we can take them out. I'm not sure where they're going. Maybe guard the gate. No, they're coming back. I guess, did they just go there to close the gate? I don't even think we opened it, too. I think it was just open. Alright, they're starting to run. Let's get a few more people to run. Alright, they're all starting to run now. Gotta be careful here. Can't have too many running at once or I won't be able to keep up. That's it. Yep, I think that's it for there. Okay, 33 left. And then it's GG. Assuming we don't crash. Fingers crossed. This will shoot people in the ankles until they get upset and charge. What a way to end this majestic campaign. Just shooting people in the foot while they sit there and, and do absolutely nothing. So funny.
We can't have these guys going either. Oh boy, I missed. Yep, he's gone. All right, well, that's only one. Well, people left. Let's um, let's use the two-handed. Get some actual action in here. Slaughtered. All right, there we go. Is that it? Wait, there's one more. Somebody running? Is he stuck somewhere? Oh, he's in here. All right, the final boss. Where is he? It says he was right here. Wait, what? Oh, there he is. He's stuck on the wall. Okay, well, it didn't crash that time. Thank goodness. 518 renown. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good for a siege. We'll take it. All right, and this should completely eliminate the Asurai. We'll show mercy. And this town's in great shape. Yep, it's perfect. We just need to not rebel, so we'll go loyalty. So we're not at war with a bunch of, you know, small independent clans. Asurai is no more. All right, let's just double check, make sure they're all gone. So Asurai, Batania, Kazate, Northern Empire, Southern Empire, Sturgia, Vlandia, and Western Empire. They're all gone. We currently own 53 towns. 67 castles that is 120 which is exactly what we need 120 fiefs and that's it we've got five regular supporters 46 influential and 63 powerful we're actually making pretty good influence from that you know almost 15 from supporters it definitely pays to have uh, people supporting you but much easier to do if you have uh if you have a lot of people in your your fiefs a lot of garrison because the security will go up and then you they get automatic um relation boost when you have high high relay when you have set high security can't talk right now so we're losing a little bit of money 78k because the garrisons are so expensive but we've got 637 million in the bank so who cares now one thing i want to do is wait until all the clans die off let's actually take a look at the clans so clans active is a very small list now there's still going to be clans running around but they're going to be independent um, mercenary clans I want to wait until the asteroid ones are all gone. And then it's just going to be Bezos' wet dream team. That's all that's left. And we'll let we'll let people go. I don't think they need to hold on to them. They're going to be dead in a few days anyways. Oh, we're actually making good money now. I wonder why our, our, our garrison expense didn't change. So I wonder why our settlement income was down so low. And we have so many... <laughs> we have so many prisoners. So many people offering us money to free him, which, like I said, we'll free him. They're going to be dead in a minute anyways. You know, this town doesn't have a garrison. Let's give them a little bit of a garrison. Oh, there they go. All the clans are dying off now. So we should be the only clan that's not a mercenary. So minor faction. Nope, there's still one on here. Banu Saran. But he'll, he'll be dead in a day, I think. Banu Saran has been eliminated. That's it. We didn't execute anybody. We still have, where are you? We still have our good traits. They're daring. We don't have uh, the ones you pick up when you when you do all the executions. Aged 58. So we started at 30, finished it in 28 years. That's not bad, actually, considering we did it completely by ourselves. No units, no, compa no companions, no family members, all solo. All right, let's take a look at our, oh, wait, why are we, why are we at war with these guys? We don't want to be at war with minor factions. Let's go sue for peace with them. Oh, wow. So they will actually not go for peace. They want infinite money. They're asking for 111 million. Or they, yeah, 111 million. If we go all the way up to everything, 639 million, it's... Oh, no, that is actually enough. But that's not what... Yeah, I don't want to spend the money. Well, I guess we're fighting out of the battle. <laughs> we have to... Oh, that's kind of annoying. All right, well, it is what it is. I thought we were done... All right, we got it. So I don't really want to be at war with these guys. Doesn't do us any good. Hidden hand. I'm wondering if we're at war with everybody, all the minor factions, which means they're going to raid. They're going to attack our caravans and, and villagers and all that. But anyways, I mean, it's not a big deal. Mission accomplished. 
the whole world is ours. We got everything, and we did it without hiring any units. Uh, well, okay, we hired units and used them as garrison, but we did it without fighting with any units. No companions, none of that stuff. So this was probably one of the most technically challenging campaigns I've ever done. Maybe not the most difficult, because I feel like the strategy that I went with minimized a lot of the risks and stuff. So there were some really, really tough battles in this. But overall, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, that's everything. We got... One thing I might do, I'm, I'm kind of curious, if I fire all the garrisons everywhere, start a kingdom. Yeah, so start a kingdom, pass the good policies, fire all the garrisons, and then build up all the fiefs to max. I'm curious to see what the uh, what the money income would be if we just max everything out. That'd be kind of cool. One thing I forgot to look at is, let's look at nobles. So we're looking at nobles that are alive. And it's, it's literally just mercenaries. There's nobody else. <laughs> They're all dead. No, there's no nobles left alive. Everybody's gone. They're all dead. Dead noble. It's a pretty big list. I'm honored to meet. Let's go ahead and throw her in the town just so we can talk to her. You're late. We'll start a new kingdom. And there's pretty much nobody in the room because it's just, <laughs> it's just Galadriel. And then this new lady we just hired, but we can fire her. Your Highness. So she's gone. Diplomacy, there's nobody here. Yeah, we can't really do anything, but we can enact some stuff. There's a lot of good policies, especially when we own everything. There's a lot of good policies we can pass. Right, we got 15 policies up. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Even with even with the wrong culture and without us in it, it's still going to be in the 80s and 90s. So I'm thinking what we could do. Let's see, is irrigation not necessary? Housing we could definitely do, and boost up that prosperity and just get rid of all the garrisons. So if we if we fire the garrisons everywhere, it's going to affect security a bit, but that may not be that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm I'm just curious to see how much money we can really make. If we spend some time building up all the fiefs. This one's maxed out, so we're just gonna switch everything to housing. Let's let's do it culture by culture. So we'll we'll head up here. You know what? Some of them need to be on an irrigation though, because they don't even have the right they don't have the right amount of food. Their villages are still kind of messed up, so let's Alright, this place is not quite maxed out, but everything that we need except for Gardens. Yeah, all this other stuff is irrelevant. I think we just only care about the economic buildings. And the villages are in decent shape, so we'll just leave that. How's our income looking now? 20, 204, we have almost 250,000 dinars of expenses. Yeah, no wonder we... <laughs> no wonder we're breaking even. You stop. Oh, we still have to fight people. Yeah, we got... Always going to be bandits. The only thing I forgot to check also is how many kills. So about 25,000 kills. 783 battles. That makes sense. Yeah, that's not that at all. My personal record was 724. Yeah, that's right, because some of the battles got broken up. We did win a, a 1500 battle, and I think this was the second stage of that. Oh, they're still at war with us, even with that. Yeah, I thought maybe if we started a kingdom, they would not do that, but they are definitely still doing that. Right, what about Jamia? Yeah, these, these are all pretty much done. They're all maxed out. Interesting, this guy's starved. He doesn't have any any food uh, money for food. I'm wondering if that's going to happen to everybody else. If they aren't able to go to our towns or villages because they're enemy. Like the player, you can still go to towns and villages and, and do stuff, but maybe the AI doesn't quite figure that out yet. This one's maxed out. The Aserai had some really well-developed... Beefs. I mean, they were left alone a lot, other than what we when we took a chunk out of them. So I guess it's not too much of a surprise. That's all maxed, and we're we're getting 347 influence per day. I think we could probably get a little bit more. There's, I think there's still some settlement buildings that aren't fully upgraded. I could be mistaken on that, but I, I think there are some that don't have it maxed. There comes forest people, kind of ruin the fun. This place is not done yet. Yeah, this one needs a little bit of work. Toll collector. Everything else is fine, though. 
And there's already money in there, so we don't need to switch to some folk. And this place is not maxed either, so we still need a marketplace, an orchard, and that's pretty much it. Let's put some cash in there, though. Switch it to housing, and then we're in good shape. So we went from 250k down to 220, so about 30,000 dinars worth of expenses for the garrison. Now, these are the ones that are going to be very expensive because we, we've had them for a very long time. They should be maxed, and the units are probably high level. Almost all of them. No, actually not. There's a lot of tier, tier 3, tier 4. Interesting. But there's a lot, though. 606. So every time we clear one of these out, it's going to be a huge increase. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> 217. That's a big difference. And this should all be maxed, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Everything's maxed here except for Castellan, no big deal. And then housing. Yep, maxed. But we still have <laughs> still have this stuff in our stash. That's funny. I was planning on using these at some point and making uh, some more weapons, but that didn't pan out. I think I probably could have done this with only melee weapons or only ranged. But I certainly think it made it much easier being able to switch between the two in, in different situations and scenarios. Morini is in good shape. Let's go to Poros. Yep, that one's good. Also, a lot of the towns we still have some reserves, so I put too much. But that's not a big deal. It's weird, some of these people we're not at war with. Some of the minor factions. Some of them we are, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I wonder if we can hire them. It's been a yeah, they will. <laughs> all right, go uh, go kill all the other mercenaries. It's beautiful. All right, that one's good. Yeah, here's some here's some one. Uh, actually, it's only one building, so it's not that big of a deal. So 19 days, that'll be done, and then this this place will be maxed. Ooh, this is rough. This place needs help. Although now that I look at it, a lot of it is things that we won't need necessarily. So we'll need an orchard and a marketplace. Everything else is no big deal, so let's just put let's put 50k in, and that should be enough to get it over the line. Still, We're still going to need a few days. Let's do 60 just in case. And then housing. Yeah, kind of surprised. That one's in good shape. Ortigia, I think I passed around a little bit, so it's probably not the best. Yeah, aqueduct still needs to be raised. And it, it's going to need it's going to need it twice, so 17 days. You know, why don't we make our loop, and then we can come back here... And queue that up later. Oh, this place is in bad shape. Yeah, this this needs a lot of work. I don't know. Did we go to Tubalis? I may have skipped that on accident. No, we didn't. Right, we'll we'll come back to which one is that? Garantor. We'll go we'll go back to Garantor at some point. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, fairground, toll, and gardens. Really, all we need. We don't need the other stuff. So Thractory needs it. Yep, Chados is good. Here's another one that needs some work. But luckily, they're all on tier 2, so we probably won't have to come back. Oh yeah, Orchard, actually, we will. We'll have to come back. Let's put 100k. And we don't need it, but let's do a forum, because we may not make it back in time before all these are done. We'll do that. Oh, that's right. I was going to say, these are all in pretty good shape, but that makes sense. Blandia wasn't touched at all, so these are all max. And we actually gained a level. So that is level 47. We didn't quite hit 48. I got nowhere to really put this. I guess maybe roguery. Although, <laughs> how are we going to get roguery? We could lead bandit troops against bandits and minor factions, but we can't raid anybody because we own everything, so that's not going to work. Ox Hall's in good shape. Uh, did I... I may have skipped Barracks End. Let's go back there. Also, Televel. Let's get that just in case I forget it. Interesting. This place is still uh, still on the up and up. Let's do just fairgrounds, and that should be enough. Right, we got to go Ostakin. That's all maxed out. And Garrison, get out of here. All right, Turby's in good shape. It's going to be a lot of unemployed soldiers, man. Everybody's getting fired. This will be a military-free zone, except for Galadriel. There you go. So that's all of Landia. So all of Asurai is done. The bottom row of Empire... Mm -hmm. All of Landia. Let's do all of um, up here, the, the Batanian region. Training field, but everything else is good, so we'll leave that. This place is beat up. It only needs Toll Collector, though. 
It's going to be hard for us to get back here in time as well, so we'll just queue up a few things. Yeah, this place too. Ooh, this is this is really bad. It's almost zeroed out. All right, well, there we go. And same thing, Carbansith is, is in pretty bad shape. It needs a lot of work. All right, well, we'll let that do its thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, actually, it's Batania. That's why it's getting passed around a lot. That's why these things aren't doing too well. Got good prosperity, though, for a castle. Aster's pretty beat up as well. And Dunglinus is good, except for the fortification, so that's fine. Yeah, we didn't really spend any time in Batania, like, getting these things fixed up. It was kind of around that time where we were just snowballing and wanted to get it done. Nope, oh, it is what it is. Let's put some money in here. And we got Televille already. Or Batania. Even in the afterlife, they're getting dumped on. That's all of Batania. They're fixed up. Got garrison payments down to f about 150k. Just a little more. Let's go back down here to the Empire and do another sweep across. I don't ever remember coming here before. Yeah, maybe we didn't. I think this might be our first time here. And it's not in great shape. Same thing here. Needs a little bit of work, but it's actually pretty good when it comes to the economy. There's a few other buildings that need some work, but this should be no big deal. Let's put about 90k in here, and that should be good to get three tier 3 buildings. Alright, Hertiga is next. Right, yeah, this one's in good shape. 30k should do it. Oh, we didn't get rid of the garrison in Liget. There we go. Now we did these. We need Rote. Yep, this one's in good shape. I think we just keep going across. That one's okay. Let's go Amatadis. That one's good. Thorios. That one's good. Right, same here. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm not too surprised. These have all been left alone for a very long time. I mean, we've owned them for a long time. We haven't been at war. Or at least these haven't been on the front line of a war in, I don't know, a decade. A very, very long time. So I guess it's not that surprising. Yeah, you know, we don't need the forum, but let's just get it. I want to see what our influence max is out at. I mean, I could just calculate it, actually. We have how many fiefs? 53 towns times 1.5 each. 70... Was that 79? Yeah, 79.5. So of 79.5, we're at 74.5. So we're pretty close to maxed, actually, as far as influence goes. Now, we did not go to Morenia, so let's let's hit up Morenia. Oh, actually, we did. Right, Lake Rats are here with a pretty big army. Get caught. That's good. Didn't hit Chinopsis yet. Let's go there. Fairgrounds is not maxed out here, but everything else is. Did we go Varagos and Seniopa? You know what? Let's just do all the Empire ones. I don't want to have to keep coming back and remembering which one we didn't hit. Yeah, there was hardly anybody in there anyways. Alright, how much do we have to pay these guys? 6.4 million. No, we'll we'll fight you. <laughs> we'll fight we'll fight some looters for 6.4 million. Alright, they're dealt with. Let's go back up here. So we did Araconia and Gersegos didn't hit these Epicrodian Mechlovea yet. And they're good. Garrison's drained. Yeah, this place is maxed. Almost maxed. Only short of workshop, but that's fine. Can't really build anything with it anyways. That's good. Let's go Diathma. Man, this place is still building stuff. Yeah, this needs a bit of work. So, the orchard, fairground, marketplace. I think everything else is probably fine. And then, let's see, what do we need? I don't think I hit any of these. We'll do the rest of the Empire, then Kazate, then Sturgia, and then we'll be done. Garrison payments almost below 100k, so we're, we're making pretty good money here. Although nothing anywhere near what we were getting <laughs> compared to the peace deal. That peace deal was hilarious. Never seen anything like that before. Yep, these are all these are all in really good shape. I haven't touched them in a long time, but they're still in good shape. Mysia maxed. Alright, Million's in good shape. Let's go Cyrenea. And Corenia next. Yeah, these were some of the first ones. So these should be 100% done. Yep. Ornira was not, though. 
Yeah, no, 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 no still needs a little bit, but not not too much. Maybe 40k should be enough. Now we did all these. We just need Odrissa, and that's all of the Empire. Oh, I don't want to fight a bunch of archers. Wait, oh, yeah. in order. That was one of the rough ones, man. This was one of the first ones that was non-Empire. Pretty much was destroyed, and we've brought it all the way up. But we're looking pretty good here. Right. Odok has all the important ones except for Aqueduct. I don't think we need anything else. And Akalot, pretty much done. The Marketplace is the only thing, but it's a couple days and it's done. Oh, Ac Fairground. I didn't see that. Let's put a little bit more. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. And it seems like loyalty is still pretty good. I don't think anything's in danger of rebelling. Just because we've got all the policies. Uh, this place needs a little bit. Fairgrounds and a garden. Right, check on straight. And almost capped out here at Maked. But we, we need to backtrack a little bit. We'll go to Kimli. And nothing needs to be maxed here. This is in good shape. And just fairgrounds here. And it's just about done. Yep, this one's good except for the fortifications, but who cares? And our garrison is down to 50k now, so we're making over 200k a day. Pretty good. Now on to Sturgia, and that's the last of it. We'll be done. Oh yeah, this place is not looking good. Actually, I take that back. For what we're using it for, it only, only needs two more things. So there we go. And for Tile, yeah, this place was... Pretty rough shape for a while. Oh, that's alright. We got money already in reserve, so that should be fine there. And I skipped... Uh, I, I didn't skip Kaiser. I think I just forgot to drain the garrison here. Wait, garrison of Ortengard? Why is there a garrison there? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I missed a bunch of these. Right, turn auto recruitment off. Yeah, I missed some of these. I'll have to go back and get them, but that's fine. Actually, is there anything here? Barche, Carbonsith. Rakdare and Nist, Zeonika, Onira, Akasur. That's a good one that we can do since we're here. Majadan, Kranarag, Takor. Okay, so we're going to Akasur. There, that's done. Now let's go let's go handle the um the Sturgeon ones. Yeah, this place is a dump. I think the Sturgeon ones should be fine as well, mostly. Vernova pole's good. That core is fine. I thought this place got beat up, but I guess it didn't, Bogard. That was the... I recall that was the King's Castle. Or King's Fief. Yep, there we go. Ov's good. Amor. Only a handful more. I gotta backtrack a little bit, because I missed a few. This place is not doing too good. Just about done here. Only needs two more things. And that's Kranerog. All right, three more feasts, and we'll have gone to everything, I think. This one just needs a couple upgrades. It needs two levels of the marketplace, though, so we, if we really want to max it out, we'll have to come back. But that's all right. I'll probably just let it run. I want to see if we can get to a billion before before poor Galadriel dies off. All right, no garrison here. Yeah, I think I ended up booting everybody because this one so far out of the way. And I did not... Get everybody out at Varcheg. That's it. We've gone to every fief. I do need to backtrack a few. Because I'm an idiot and I keep missing stuff. Here we go. So, and we have 10 more garrisons. Orton Guard. No, that one... Okay, so we have 9 more then. I don't know why this one's showing on there. Carbanseth, Sargo, Thraktor, Zeneca, Nira, Vedigos, Ganator, Gersegos, and Kanak. There's quite a few in uh, Batanian lands. So we should probably go there. Right, Pen Kanak still has a garrison. I think it was Sargo. We're down to 14,000. Almost zeroed out. Right, Lanakan, no. Let's double check our feast again. Gersegos, Garantor, Varagos. Oh, it was Sargo. Sargo and Ortengard. Uh, Ortengard is zero. Sorry, Sargo. So Sargo needs to be zeroed. We're not too far. Oh, here we go. Can we hire these guys? It's, been a it's not the right one. What about this guy? It's and that's not the right guy. You should be able to hire the... The mercenary clans from anybody. You shouldn't have to find the main guy. Just like when you when you become a mercenary, you can talk to anybody. Right? You don't have to talk to the king. When you want to be a vassal, you have to go directly. But for that stuff, you don't. It'd be nice if they made it all the same. All right, Thraktoray. 
And I think I might have missed this one because nothing's done here. Guarantor. Yeah, this one was one of them. So gardens, Toll Collector, and Fairgrounds. We need all of it. Gersegos, Varagos, Onira, Zeonica. Zeonica, these are kind of far. Let's go Gersegos first. Alright, this place is set straight. We need Zeonica. There we go. Varagos and Onira, and we're done. That place is doing. And then Onira. Oh boy. These guys are actually fighting. Uh, we're able to bypass groups of like, I don't know, was it 15 or 20 looters? But uh, not bandits, I guess, because they're higher level. They're, they still think they have a chance. Just funny. I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near this lady if she took over the world by herself. We beat him in like the good old days. Yeah, I know we went here. I remember set, setting this one up. I think I just forgot to do the thing. So that's fine. That's done. And then for whatever reason, Orton Guard is still shown as zero. But I would like it to just be removed from the list. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's still shown zero. So let's... We'll put some people in the garrison. We'll wait a day. Take them out. Throw them in the trash. Wait a day. Let's see if that fixed it. Nope, it's still... What if we do that? We turn auto recruitment back on. No, it still doesn't want to do it. Oh, it is recruiting people. All right, how about now? Parties. No, it's still, <laughs> still showing. And it's still showing a plus one. It's probably bugged. Just fine. Auto recruitment off. We'll just, we'll have a zero out of 606. There we go. So with, uh, we're paying minus two dinars per day to a mercenaries. That's interesting. Recruitment costs, that'll go away. We're making a plus 267k, although that's going to fluctuate. See some days. 293, 295, 289, 292. So it's all not quite 300k, but definitely not far off. And as time goes on, the, uh, what do you call it? The prosperity is going to continue to go up and income will continue to go up as well. So if we, if we let this just run for, I don't know, Another five, ten years, however long it takes her to, to die. Then I think it'll be it'll be pretty good. I want to see 300k. There we go. We got a 300k day. 300k. So at 300k, we're making... Uh, let me do some math. So at 300k a day times 84 days, that's 25 million per year. And we need to make about... Let's just round this up to 675. We need to make seven... About 13 years. I don't think, I don't think we can survive that long. Although our income is going up more. I mean, maybe it'll, maybe it'll go up to like 400k. Who knows? That's pretty wild. 316. It's going up fast. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what what these things will top out at. Actually, let's go to what's what's the highest prosperity that we have. Let's show us. Yeah, we can. So Sanala, Epicrodia, Provend. Let's go to Sanala. Epicrodia is close to. I want to buy some workshops and see what they do. Oh, I don't want to fight anybody anymore. <laughs> All right, there we go. Epicrodia, Volstrom. Let's go to Volstrom and Epicrodia. And what do they got here? A brewery. Yeah, there's some good stuff for a brewery. Let's Allow buy that. What else you got? Silversmith. Why not? This is true. Uh, let's just let's do Sonala first. Uh, Silversmith here as well. Oh, they got two of them. That's stupid. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Provend is the next one. What do you guys got? Wine press, tannery, and brewery. We'll buy all three. I don't know which I one's am. good. I offer. I. But that gives us seven out of seven. Actually, we're maxed. And we'll just hang out here for a little bit. Let's see what our workshops are making. So glad we spent a couple hundred grand to make fifteen hundred. <laughs> Twenty-five. All right, they're making a little bit of money now. Give them a few weeks and see what they're doing now. That's not too bad, but keep in mind, these are in towns that have 11,000 prosperity, so not really shocking. Look at our, our support went up even higher. So income is getting up to 330k per day, so maybe the 13 years is, it's maybe it's not going to take quite as long. And we ran out of food. Let's spend a little bit of money here on some food. All right, we're going to spend our days in Proven because this is where Durthrait used to live. And we are just going to take it over. I don't know. Something embarrassing. 
Something that's demeaning towards him. The thief income is approaching 380, almost getting up to 400k a day. We're getting real close to 400k a day. There it goes, 400k. Made 400k in a single day. Yeah, 402, 400. Looks like it's creeping up with the prosperity increase. Income actually decreased a bit. We're mostly below 400k now. Oh, 900 million. Almost to a billion. Gotta hang in there a little longer. 925 million. Our daily income is up to 410 on some days. So there, it's still increasing. Although I've noticed some towns are starting to starve to death. I think the, the prosperity is just too high. Yeah, this is a, a two village town and it, it can barely keep up. 950 million. Almost there. Right, we're on the final stretch. 995 million. Looks like we might survive long enough to get there. Almost a million influence too, that's- well, okay. Not almost, but... <laughs> 330,000 is pretty good. I'd say closer to half a million. Alright, here we go. One billion. Alright, we are officially billionaires. I've never done that without using the console commands, but that's crazy. So let's see what prosperity looks like. Sanala is 14.6. 13.6 for Epicrodia, Praven, Dunglanis, these are all in the 12k. As far as towns go, what's the lowest? Diathma is the lowest. Why is this place doing so poorly? The two villages aren't, aren't at 600 yet, so that could have something to do with it. These are both above 600, but the town is not doing that well here. Interesting. And then as far as castles go, 2400 is the max. They're all at 24, well not all, but most of them are at 2400. That's really interesting. It's just like hard locked into 2400. We still have some that are that can grow a little bit, but most of them are already there. Well, no, these two can't because they only have one village, but these these should be able to go a little higher. Really interesting stuff. All right, we got solo clan, solo unit. Uh, there's not really anything to look, look at here. I mean, we've got 404 supporters because our loyalty is so high. Relations are maxed out with pretty much everybody. Skills are really good. Uh, there's not really much to look at here either. We kind of talked about this throughout the whole campaign, but pretty much everything's maxed on the combat side except for crossbow. Scouting and charm, pretty high up there. Tried to get medicine a little higher up. Luckily, we were able to get 175. We probably already used it, the, the chance to recover from death from old age. So that's probably helped quite a bit. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to let this run and see how old she gets before she dies. But uh, she is... Galadriel is 70 years old. That's really good. We started at 30, so 40 years old. Uh, 40 years campaign. I mean, we finished the World Conquest in 28 years, and then we became a billionaire in 40 years, so 12 years of saving up money with no garrison. Sweet. I hope you liked it. That was a tough campaign I do not expect to ever repeat. So, Anyways, I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching the campaign.